Welcome back to the class of the internet part 3 Today we are going to discuss about Wikipedia WikiLeaks Google Photos Google Picaxa Hacker Cracker Cookies Advantages and disadvantages of internet First we will see about Wikipedia What is Wikipedia You all may be using Wikipedia for many purposes. Wikipedia is a free internet encyclopedia. The very first sentence, Wikipedia is a free internet encyclopedia that allows its users to edit almost any article accessible. It is owned by a non-profit organization. Wikimedia Foundation and was launched on January 15, 2001. Nowadays, almost everybody is using Wikipedia to search genuine data or information. Look here, it has been expanded up to 300 languages currently and the largest wikipedia the english wikipedia has over 54 million articles every day it is being expanding all articles are being added to wikipedia wikipedia has grown as the world's largest reference website attracting 1.5 billion visitors monthly as on as of march 2020 Okay once again when you say about wikipedia you must understand what encyclopedia is encyclopedia or sarva vijnana kosham that means uh, information about almost everything in the world is being provided by wikipedia go to wikipedia search in the wikipedia you will get uh, genuine results these are the logos of wikipedia and it is always free and it is being governed by wikimedia foundation and the wikimedia foundation has introduced not only wikipedia but there are other uh, products also wiki books are there wiki uh, dictionary is there or wiki wiki training and so on all this helps people to get information from the internet with ease and that to genuine information which is uh, always uh, truth because people are able to edit if they find any discrepancy in any article if you are making some uh, untruthful or uh, comments in any area any of the person who sees it at the first sight has the right to edit that article wikimedia family of open knowledge projects are wikipedia wiki species wiki news wikimedia commons wiki tonary wiki books wiki data wiki wiki media wiki wiki voyage wiki university look here all it is being ex wiki sources are there wiki media tool labs are there all these are different initiatives taken by the wiki media foundation the wiki media foundation uh, generally contributes to for the information sector and uh, this is being kept for the genuine development of mankind and now we are going to see about another area where related to hacking as well as julius assange wiki leaks is the name and what is wiki leaks WikiLeaks is an international non-profit journalist organization that publishes secret information, news leaks, 
leaks and classified media from anonymous sources. Julian Assange, an Australian internet activist, is generally described as its founder and director. We will be seeing the images of Julian, Julian and uh, it was being initiated in 2006 and it has released about uh, 10 million documents in its first 10 years itself. According to Wikimedia, Wikileaks website is gone. Well, for what purpose Wikileaks is being uh, created to? To bring important news and information to the public. One of the most important activities is to publish original sources, source material alongside our news stories so readers and historians alike can see evidences of the truth. They want to give to the world what is truth. Truth at many instances will be a perspective aspect when considered from the third, third person's vision, vision because the presenter, the person who gives the uh, history or uh, the data which he makes will be slightly manipulated, manipulated according to his uh, lineation. So, Wikipedia has a goal to bring important news and information to the public and uh, its activities are be to publish original source material alongside our news stories so readers and historians alike can see evidences of the truth. At any instance, if you uh, go to the uh, WikiLeaks uh, files, you could see the evidences of truth hidden somewhere from the apart from the news which is being uh, broadcasted by many of the news channels and this is what the WikiLeaks foundation used and it is the uh, a non-profit journalistic organization what is journalist Journalist are the person who reports or gives out or writes down uh, the news to the various news agencies. We will see about uh, the logos, we will see about Julian, Azang and so on. Here comes uh, the logo and uh, inside Julian's uh, Zhang's war on secrecy and he was being uh, once uh, taken by the Time magazine as one among the uh, best person of the year. The person of the year. The Time magazine has once that but uh, many of the governments especially the American government etc was against him because uh, the, many of the uh, data which he kept was against war in Afghan, Iraq, Syria and so on uh, which uh, made the government uh, against uh, to produce uh, arrest warrants and you could see the images of Julian he is the person who founded it Okay, and now uh, he is considered as one of the biggest hackers and we will be seeing about uh, what hackers and uh, 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 the crackers also do and uh, uh, you will be interested to know about uh, ethical hacking and you will be more interested to know about uh, the child hackers and how they did uh, one of the famous names among child hackers is an Indian uh, and his name is uh, uh, Ruben Paul. We will come to know about Ruben Paul in a few minutes uh, and WikiLeaks used to give uh, secret information or uh, by uh, hacking out the original source materials from 
various uh, computers stored around hackle crackle and cookies hackle is an intelligent person who enjoys breaking into computer systems and gaining unauthorized access to private network for fun ethical hacking is something which has been studied world over and you could see intelligence students or intelligent kids who start hacking something at a very young age a cracker on the other hand is the dangerous person who gets unauthorized access to an organization computer system and causing harm to individuals and to that organization cookies on the other hand are small pieces of data stored by web browsers to remember browsing information and this information they use pr previously entered into form fields such as name address password and credit card numbers this stuff will be stored on the web browsers and these web browsers cookies are being stolen away by hackers or crackers and they use this information to log into your account with your identity and with this identity they you they will do uh, many activity uh, activities on the net signing in from different devices as if it is you the security vulnerabilities may allow a cookie's data to be read by a hacker who uses such data to gain access to many websites used by any other person look here if i am knowing if i am having uh, uh, your key uh, key of your car what happens i could open your car or i could uh, with the key of your house i could open your house and get uh, what are being stored inside or stole away the car from you likewise a hacker or a cracker will be able to get data stored in various web browsers so that he will be uh, misleading the internet protocols and he will log in as if it is you logging inside look here these are what hackers does and from where a hacker logs in or from where to which account a hacker gains access will be uh, a difficult stuff to identify from time to time he will be using multiple identity uh, uh, to log in to many of the accounts and he will be having multiple identity in the internet the hackers have will be having different face mask and uh, he will be bluffing you from different areas now i want to show you few names which you could uh, check what they have done the famous child hackers around the world even at the age of 8 or i even at the age of 6 or 9 or even at uh, the age of in between 12 or 14 Uh, what these uh, children have done and what happened uh, in the due course ruben paul was an ethical hacker who you could search uh, for about betsy davis and so on the names are here matthew james richard christopher wang all these were angsters who who did 
hacking at a very young age. You could read the stories. I am not going to elaborate the stories, but you could go uh, and search in the internet about these names and find uh, what they have done at a very young age. These are the famous child hackers around the world. Now we are going to see about Google Photos and Google Picaxa. Google Photos is the latest stuff which is a cloud computing app and uh, this app helps uh, uh, to store photographs and videos or uh, share video sharing and uh, it gives you a big amount of storage in the internet it's a cloud computing app which stores the photos and videos in the web example of a cloud computing app typically is simply you could write the name google photos but uh, uh, google picaxa was entirely different it was an image organizer of or organizing and editing digital photographs it helped to identify uh, how many photographs are there in the, your computer and in which folders they are there and you could uh, organize many of the photographs and see as if it, uh, it is being shown in uh, the Android phone. This is the overview of Google Photos and uh, uh, Google Picaxa. Google Picaxa was being introduced in 2003 while the google photos was the latest stuff which was being introduced in 2015 now uh, very little people used picaxa but it, uh, in one aspect or another when if you are using uh, computers and a picaxa in it it helps you to identify in which folder were the photographs are being kept Cookies, it was being just explained earlier. <coughs> Cookies are small pieces of data stored by web browsers to remember browsing information and this information uh, the uh, users uh, previously entered into the form fields such as name, address, passwords and uh, credit card numbers and so on. Uh, the cookies helps to, uh, with the uh, when you are starting to enter your name, your name appears over there. When you just press enter key, the name uh, entirely up, uh, fills up. You have experienced such things. The such things are being uh, done with the help of these cookies, which uh, which are being uh, uh, inserted inside the web browser. But what happens? Uh, some uh, browsers may not be having uh, tight security. Uh, but uh, if there is any security vulnerability in uh, uh, Google Chrome or any other web browser, uh, it uh, allow, uh, uh, the, uh, the hacker or a cracker uh, will be having access to the cookie data. And if he gets the cookie data, it is very, very easy uh, uh, for that hacker to uh, use such data to gain access to any of the websites which you are using. And in such uh, uh, cases, uh, they uh, log into the computer or from any other system as if you are logging from uh, a third party server. And such things, identity theft it will be happening in the internet. And uh, when such things happen, what, uh, 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 things will be out of your control. If uh, you are using, uh, um, if somebody else is using a password and uh, logging into your bank account and uh, uh, withdrawing money or purchasing uh, with the help of the uh, uh, credit card or debit card, etc., uh, you will be the loser at the end. Uh, what are the different types of cookies? HTTP cookies are there, web cookies are there, internet cookies are there, and web browser cookies are there. We are, we are just uh, uh, going to see about the web cook, uh, internet uh, browser cookies. When you are going to uh, uh, to key, see how these cookies work, uh, just uh, uh, log into your uh, uh, email ID address and log in as a uh, sign into Google Chrome with your email address 
and then uh, go to uh, the settings by clicking the ellipse on the uh, right hand side look into the screen uh, the hidden passwords check for passwords uh, uh, all the passwords whoever uh, access your system will be having the passwords saved into your system and uh, you could uh, log into the system look uh, 192.168.1.100 m49 uh, is having the password 123456 uh, if you just look uh, click on this icon over here you could see that uh, uh, what is the password appearing for that uh, advantages and disadvantages of the internet the advantage is that uh, you could browse the net for information search for people places and friends you could uh, create email and you are a web citizen you could purchase by e-commerce blogging social networking cloud computing downloading and uploading of files all these uh, advantages of email sorry internet and uh, we have studied many of these in depth except a few few especially blogging was not being uh, introduced blogging is just like uh, uh, using the internet as uh, a <coughs> Uh, uh, diary and you are di uh, writing uh, what all happens uh, with uh, on a day uh, daily basis your views your notions etc is being shared with the entire world and the world will be uh, seeing this and following uh, your views and these are the advantages of internet once again you could browse the internet or the net for information search for people place and friends you could uh, create email you could send mails you could uh, uh, use that uh, mail to log in as a net citizen to a web browser or any of the sites that need an email address you could purchase things from the Amazon, uh, Flickart, etc. with e-commerce, uh, blogging or uh, writing uh, on a regular basis and expo ex uh, exposing those what are being written to the world, social networking, cloud computing, uh, downloading of the files. All these are advantages of internet disadvantages the internet has no single governing body plagiarism that means uh, many of the uh, articles which you are publishing in the internet is being stolen away by somebody and such things are being used by them as their own viruses incorrect or offensive information on the web uh, sometimes the you will be misled by uh, the false informations the email like the personal warm the a uh, letter written on paper uh, on decades back or a couple of uh, years back one decade means a, a span of 10 years and uh, 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 within a span of 20 or 25 years back many of the persons used to write letters to uh, the uh, friends relatives etc and when you're seeing the letters uh, you do have the warmth in such a manner that you fe you feel uh, uh, the intimacy or uh, if you could see uh, the face the uh, etc or in the letters which you see over there and it gives a uh, additional uh, personal warmth or t uh, touch with uh, the personal letters which the postman used to deliver in the olden days the email never or ever have that personal touch it is just that electronic stuff that comes in front of you and these are the advantages and disadvantages of internet once again the advantages of internet 
you could browse the net for any information you could search for people place and friends you could uh, create emails you could send mails to anybody uh, you could purchase things with the help of e-commerce uh, blogging could be done on a daily basis uh, social networking sites help people to uh, be in touch with others uh, cloud computing uh, downloading of files etc are the advantages and there are few disadvantages too uh, there are a lot of viruses which cause harm to the software as well as the device which you are using the internet has no single governing body so uh, what do you uh, if something happens wrong uh, if something went wrong or uh, something you can't uh, claim uh, who or why it happened in such a manner because there is no body to govern the internet uh, plagiarism uh, incorrect or offensive information on the web the email lack the personal warmth of a letter written on paper that's all for today and thank you for being with me